poopsies. So today we're going to be doing a resonant healing, resonance therapy kind of video. And this is you right now, the body. I've tried to mold it to kind of um, match, you know, the torso, the arms, legs, etc. The best to my ability. Um, so excuse the awkward camera angle, uh, but I'm mostly just going to do my thing. This is pretty new to me, so I am in no way doing this right. It is just kind of a modality to um, clear blockages, and I'm going to go into explaining what I'm doing on you here <laughs> as I am performing this, and I'm going to use some crystals, and that's it. So please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell until it turns gray. Thanks. So basically, this is your head up here. Just imagine. Use your imagination. This is your chest and belly area. And I decided to do this on the floor. It seems like a better idea, more comfortable. And I'm just going to be going on different sides and doing my thing. Just kind of right now, I want to feel around the energy and just uh, uh, channel in your field right now what you're going through. Some of the blockages that may be nearby and around. I'm just going to do my own thing now and pay attention to you. Floor work, like massage, body work, any type of work done on the floors. Great for like uh, Tai, Shiatsu, that kind of stuff. Any form of healing modality. Stuff I want to do down the line and make videos on when I have a bit more knowledge in them. So I can already conceive of your energy field right now. Seems pretty clear, but there are some blockages for sure, for sure. So now I'm kind of just trying to swirl the energies around, get them in motion. Some of them are kind of stuck right now, kind of trapped, and we're, I'm attempting to uh, release them, get them at least flowing before we start to get rid of them. my intuitive vibe and trying to channel through my tools to work on you. Okay, let's bring everything into the heart now. The chamber of flowing. Alright, the chamber of movement. This is kind of similar to that last video I did on healing with the... It's like a distance healing, but this time this is more like with tactile, with touch and up close and personalized. Really getting in that energy field. Feeling what's going on. sense exactly where the blocks are. Hmm. Not really doing any clearing yet. Just sense. Hmm. Hmm. Something here. Liver. 
something is going on there. <sighs> on the left hand, for sure. Right hip. Right knee. Pretty much it. I am seeing the liver, left shoulder, left hand, right hip, right knee, right foot, and a bit in the heart just because we're overwhelming it right now with all of these energies that have been blocked for so long. So now I'm going to begin the unblocking process. So Vortex in the spin. And basically what resonance healing is, that it resonates with your current field, your vibrational state in your energy vortexes. And I'm not trying to uplift them. I'm just trying, like increase the frequency. I'm just attempting to um, do this by working with your current resonant state and matching with it to unblock and remove the crud, basically. No, I didn't do the head yet, the crown chakra, or the third eye, or the throat, but I'm gonna get there soon. This is just, I like going here first. seeing a yellowy color, like a bile toxic fluid. I'm just going to get rid of that in the liver now. Hmm. We're just using your natural energy field to flow it out. I'm not adding anything of my energy. I'm not adding any higher power or anything. It's just working with your field to clear away. And sometimes we have to channel in parts of your body that have that good energy to heal over this. So that's resonance. Resonating within you. Okay. One more check and you're good. All right, we've got it flowing now. Let's work on that shoulder now. And 
this type of modality is less intense than others because you literally are not changing your state of being at all. We want to maintain equilibrium to avoid any other um, illness, disease come on, especially if you bring in a higher vibration too quickly or if you're too high, a lower one too quickly and overwhelm the body, cause nausea and other aches and pains in the bones and blood flowing where it's not supposed to. Just using your body's life-giving resources, that's all it is. And getting rid of what doesn't serve your natural equilibrium. Alright, there we go. I feel like a nice cooling sensation now in your left shoulder. You can imagine that now. Here's the left. Mm-hmm. It feels like you use your left hand a lot, even though you're not really dominantly supposed to, due to your aches and pains. Okay, let's bring in some of this central energy here. When we have no other resource to work with in the arm, this one is newly healed through. We don't want to bring that newly healed through energy here because then we're going to drain that shoulder that we just offered life force to. So we're going to bring in from the heart to the chest all of its, well I should say some of its given resource. Okay, I see what's going on. Something with the, it's like the tendons are tight and tense, like carpal tunnel-like symptoms. Good. Cooling energy. Nice, nice. Let's get that flowing equally. Make sure it's resonant with the right arm. Match as even as possible. Good, good. Okay, great. Now we're moving to the right hip. This joint here. It feels like the bone and the muscle. There's a lack of blood flow, so we're going to get that Venus circulating. Okay, there we go, nice and warm. Let go some of that tension. It just needed more circulation. It feels much better now. There we go. No blockage, just circulation. right leg again because sometimes when there's an issue predominant maybe that could have caused the problem in the knee and the foot um, but this isn't the case I'm still seeing a blockage let's check your left leg now maybe that may affect something okay I'm not feeling anything in the left there we go we just got more circulation in the upper leg here energy down here. Now that we have more circulatory. Energy here. We're just gonna f keep it flowing. Uh, this feels more like a tightness somewhere. Let's see where that could be. Mm. Mm -hmm. Needs crystal work. So don't want to channel an external resource like from your arm 
because then if I get too much energy drained from your arm, then all of a sudden this arm has a problem and it links with another part of your body, then we'll give it another problem. So you want to be wise with using energy. It's like a performing operation. Maybe you need some cartilage from the ear, the foot, for example, to let's say fill in a nose from an injury. But then that cartilage you just took may give an, another problem to those limbs. So you want to be mindful where and how and kind of compromise and balance with the, what the body has. And in extreme cases, you do need to go to a different healing modality than resonant. Resonant can only do so much like any other modality. I'm going to attempt healing work here because the right knee is still going through something. I'm not sure if it's a uh, size difference between this one and this one. Usually the knees are different sizes. They're either too small or too big, and it causes aches and pains in the joints. So maybe it just needs some additional force, like from a crystal, outside of your body's energy field to alleviate the discomfort. So let's work on the foot now, and hopefully we can take care of something there. Mm. Feels like an issue with the knee, because when the knee gives out, usually the foot does too. Let's try to work on bringing that force, the rest of it that we can. We also don't want to drain the heart too much, but I still feel like you have plenty here to give, so it's not a problem. And let's flow it to the knees and then the foot again, and see if something's changing here, or something's making a shift. It made the foot and the knee a little better, but again, it needs crystal work, so... Let's get it flowing now, back up and back down and back up. Usually in this healing, I would be quite silent. Um, the client doesn't necessarily have to know what is going on, but I'm doing this per video demonstration, so you have a comprehension of what I am doing. So, I'm just going to do one last body scan before I put on the crystals, okay? And in this case, we normally don't use uh, crystals unless, like I said, we just really need to keep um, something unblocked. It's up to you ultimately, but we don't want to add too much energy outside of your body's vibration. So that's why I'm also going to go into it based off of your vibration to match with the crystal vibration so it's not too low or too high. But you're flowing very nice, like I said, just the knee and the foot and the right leg. pick and choose and just kind of intuit which one would be more matched with yours. So I ended up choosing topaz, carnelian, and malachite. So the green I'm going to put in the center of the heart to recharge. And these are pretty much similar in terms of energy right now. So I'm going to put the carnelian on the knee and just the topaz on the foot. And we're going to set the intent and bring that energy in. So I ended up choosing malachite for the heart to kind of get that green on a hot energy flowing. Carnelian and Topaz are feeling pretty much the same in vibration at this moment, so I put the Carnelian on your knee and the Topaz on your right foot, and we're just going to set the intent and bring the energy into these crystals at these body part locations. And I'm also going to charge up your heart now to re-energize what we have just had to compensate for and flow through your system. 
And as you know, this all, oh, this feels really warm, by the way. Wow, this feels so nice. I would normally use both hands, but it feels so intense that it's like I don't want to overwhelm your heart now. But um, just feel that nice, fuzzy, warm feeling from your big, beautiful heart right now. As I'm feeling in that Anahat green chakra energy flowing and pumping even your lymph nodes. Full of life force. As you know, the cardiovascular system is linked within your um, yeah, circulation of endocrine and lymph and um, skeletal and muscular and nervous. And so it's the most important part of your entire body is the heart. So we just want to make sure it's kept in check. So other parts flow. a firestorm of energy so we just want to continue keeping it flowing nice and even and smooth that's right get that fiery lava like molten red heart energy I'm sorry green <laughs> I associate the heart with red always obviously um, in terms of energy it is the color green um, but intuitively I said red because of the carnelian, so I'm just going to go with it and bring some of that red. Maybe we need some of that root chakra energy in. Okay. There we go. And it feels much better now. It feels like it's loosened itself up in the knee. Oftentimes circulation can be an issue in the knee and our bodies compensate. And there we go. Because the knee ridden itself of the burden through whatever cause, the foot did as well. So we'll just keep this nice energy flowing for a little longer thanks to the healing powers of the crystals. And we will end this part of the session of the body work on the throat, head, and crown. And move on. That's right. There we go. All right. Perfect. just because this is quite a great tool. I'm just going to intuitively go off what I'm feeling now. I normally wouldn't do this with this type of work, but selenite, just to create a nice layer of protection, guidance, energy. Continue that life force flow and that you can get at this state anytime you wish. Whenever the body needs, whenever the body requires only. Not too much. You should never give too much of your energy and time to any one person or any situation or thing. So keep this intent confirmed in your mind's eye. And your heart and spirit, body and soul. You want to maintain the equilibrium. And it's like a line drawn through your body right down the center from the root to right below your chin. Just that area is quite vital and you have to solidify this before you work on your throat, third, crown. People often mistake this, misunderstand it and they create blockages because they work on other parts too soon and you don't give it time to neutralize, okay? It's difficult to explain, but that's as much of an explanation I can give on that to the best of my ability. Um, but yeah, it's feeling good, so now we can move onwards to the upper parts, which is off camera, because you can use your imagination. <laughs> but basically, I'm 
I'm just gonna grab a sense of what's going on here. Okay. Tightness in the throat. Some tension needs to be removed there. Let's get rid of that. And pillow it out and I'm motioning that way upwards. I'm very careful not to bring any of that energy back this way. Okay, so. The crown takes care of all, so I'm gonna And just by twisting and turning a bit of your vortex, is, I'm able to release the tightness and move onwards to your third. Wow, that one is wide open. No work there, just continue the flow up, up, up to your crown, all the way up, up, up. And that one is a little blocked, let's open it up now. It's like the final momentum. The final gates of a dam opening up and just releasing and there we go. Now we keep the life force energy flowing. Now let's channel all of this up, up, up and outwards. And bring it back down and bring it back down and bring it back down and up, up, up and outwards. Bring it back down. Bring it back down. no longer serving you, whatever no longer gives way to new life, new ideas, new concepts, let out all the old crud from thoughts, negative things from people said that are not within your resonant vibration, anything that just doesn't stick, doesn't flow, causes all these symptoms, let it out now, there we go, it doesn't even serve And we're going to create a seal now to, again, protect through the crown. And only invite this white loving light energy through. Only invite the thoughts that match and resonate with you at any time. You may raise your vibration any time you wish. And you will only receive thoughts coming through that match with that vibration at that time to cause equilibrium homeostasis in the body at certain times. Nothing too low, nothing too high in relationship with your vibration. To constantly remain that resonant healing throughout. That's right. All right, good. And we've sealed and now created sort of like a bubble aura-ish vibe here to um, maintain this affirmation of realization of concepts of life and what gives way, what removes from you, and now you have this higher up knowledge of that and it now remains within your energy field and you know exactly what to do at any given time whenever someone tells you something that doesn't vibrate with you, you now know if you accept it in your life or not even remove it, just don't even let it sink in into your energy field. It doesn't affect you. Other people's opinions don't affect you, only if it's within your vibration. There you go. That's right. Okay. We are good now. Let's do one last final check. That's always recommended. Let's see if it's flowing now. Hmm. I thought I felt something here. I just intuitively need to place my hands here. That's all I need to do at this time. In your right hand. It just needs some loving extra caring attention. That's all. It just needs a hand to hold.
Let's give it that hand to hold at this time. It's kind of a little bit of a lonely feeling. Sort of depression-like symptom, but it just needs a hand, that's all. It's like you need a helping hand in some way. And hopefully this did it for you. And I'm feeling the same warmth, even more intense as in the heart. It's quite nice. It feels right. So I'm just going to go with it. That's right. I'm here. You've been hurt and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be fearful. It's okay. That's right. There you go. You can access this healing, warm hand energy at any time and let it flow. That's right. There you go. Let it to the heart and give it some love. Give some love to this area of your body, that hand to hold at any time you need it. You can always access it and you can always come back to this moment anytime you wish. There you go. That's right. And let those good, nice, tingly feelings flow throughout your body. Up, 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 and channel it again. Down and up like a cycle, like waves to the ocean. All right. You are now in perfect whole peace equilibrium, love and homeostasis. So I hope you enjoyed your session. Just gonna pat nice waves, kind of like dipping your finger into the water. So I'm dipping my fingers into your waters and just giving those nice feelings. One last, like, energy massage, kind of just a nice feeling to end things off. You always want to end off a session with a nice feeling, a nice reminder that goes into your subconscious to help you conceive of this entire session as nothing but positive and help you access this fond memory anytime you desire. Okay. You conceive of the last moment of any situation, any event in your life the most, the last thing the person said to you, the last thing the person did before you last saw them. So it's very important. You just feel good at this time. There we go. Nice ripples of warm healing energies. It's your own healing. It's your own body. Your body is self-healed. Your body's magnificent ability to heal itself is doing its own magic work. I'm not doing anything. I'm just being conscious of what you are experiencing energetically and shifting your waves. I'm shifting the rocks, the seashells, the algae, the seaweed in your ocean. We are working with that and it's beautiful, it's magnificent, it's flowing now. The rivers are so smooth. 